Well, are they? I'm asking you. Leakers have to be some of the most controversial people when it comes to the overall gaming space. Many people think it ruins any speculation or the reveals themselves. So overall, many people really dislike them. And it's the exact same thing for the Del Combato community. Back around 2022, leakers genuinely stopped leaking any content regarding the game because of the backlash they got when they exposed the entirety of the Worldwide Down celebration that year. But very recently, after two years, a leaker finally came back and leaked this year's Golden Week. And with that came a lot of backlash from the community. And it sparked a lot of debate from many other people. YouTubers like Nanogenics were upset about it as well. Because in the community's mind, leaks were over with. They hadn't done them in over two years. So a couple days ago on Dokkan Digest Live, a show I do every week, me and my co-host discussed whether or not leaks were bad for the game. And I think we came up with some pretty good discussion. So with that said, enough with the blabble. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We have, uh, we have a couple topics we want to talk about today. Some fun, some not fun number one leakers all right leakers in the community we're gonna we're gonna segue into that i think we i want to talk about specifically i seriously um i guess we can have adrian in the chat f fact check us because i'm literally so unfamiliar with this drama like i i do not i i don't think i pay too much attention to it then again I wasn't doing drama content back then, so it's like I, I could have cared less. Um, but like most of the most of the drama that happens in the Dokkan community, it stems from like people saying a slur or like, you know, every so often we'll get that weirdo pedo guy. I feel like there are a lot of new members from the community from that moist critical video I did. So just a little bit of info. Like most, you know, gaming communities, there are leakers. Like there was some drama back then whenever the PlayStation event was leaked as well. Leakers are a bit of a controversial thing among gaming in general. So in Dokkan, we have leakers as well. They like to leak units. Uh, I don't think I, I don't remember them ever really leaking like content. I mean, I think they have actually they have leaked content before. Um, but but it's always been pretty vague, right? Like they don't really necessarily know the what the content holds exactly. So leakers are in the community. A lot of people don't like leakers, and a lot of that stemmed from the whole fiasco in 2022. Whenever they just straight up leaked the entirety of the worldwide down celebration that year. Uh, so leakers are looked at pretty hatefully. A lot of them don't like them. All right. Um, and I seriously is one of those leakers who just so happens to to have gotten himself into some drama involving a Twitter user named uh, Sin, not Sinful, yeah, Sinful, Jesus Christ, Sinful. Uh, and why is that? It's it's because he's a trans folk, guys. That's why. I might be getting that wrong. Uh, but Sinful posted something. It was like a, it was like a tweet regarding them calling the lolly version of the Supreme Kai of Time sexy or whatever, right? Am I getting that correct? I seriously wasn't French. I can guarantee that there wouldn't be a single drama in his- Buddy, oh. he said if. Yeah, if. Stop you're completely- the first word Whoopsie. The sentence, it's all the context. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're right though. You're right. I, I, I don't think that's the case. No, people don't hate French people like that, man. Like that's such a, I think that's such a weird thing to say. No. Bro, people, French people hate us like that. Yeah, dude. People don't like I seriously because he said something about uh, a trans person, right? Is that how that went? I don't, I'm not too familiar with that drama, but I doubt that's why people just like I seriously. No one looks at a French guy and is like, I don't like you because, well, okay, that's not true. But like no one in this community is going to do that. <laughs> no one in this community is going to do that openly, right? Like I don't, that's so, that'd be really weird. If they're doing that, it's behind closed doors. I, I've never hated a French person because they're French. That's just so lame. That's just like the lamest thing you could possibly do. So I disagree with that. I think it's because of the whole drama stemming from, you know, calling uh, calling sinful uh, a weirdo, a pedophile because they're trans or something like that regarding that. But anyway, he's made his way back into the community um, or not made his way. But, well, yeah, just recently because he leaked the entire uh, what was what we're getting for Golden Week. So. I want to go through that today. How do you guys feel about leaks? Are they bad? Are they awful? Do we hate them? Love them? Leaks literally don't affect anything. Mm -hmm. Especially this this one, right? It, it, he leaked it a day later or a day earlier. Right? It wasn't even like that bad. But I can I can kind of understand why people are like upset at leaks, right? Like it's more it, it's always been more fun, you know, theorizing with the community. That I will say for sure. Like it's it's well, super fun doing that. You'd say that, but then look at how many people were bitching about the Deborah stuff. Like yeah. we were, we were talking about like Deborah and Gohan just like as an option, and yeah. everybody was losing their fucking minds bitching about it, saying this would be trash. No one wants to even entertain this. Yada yada yada. And it's like th this is literally what happens when you don't have leaks. Leaks get rid of this conversation that you're very clearly not enjoying, but you're mad that we have leaks. Like they're. It, 
again, classic Dokkan community, just finding something to be upset about, because if they don't have anything to be upset about, well, then that, that's their whole personality. They don't know what to do. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, I actually, I never thought about it that way. Yeah, you're so right. People, people when it comes to community discussion are like <coughs> so vile, man. They're so vile and like rude a lot of the time. How dare you? theorize what are you, what could be coming in a celebration in 2024 at this point right like i don't, I don't get that man especially the anti-leakers the, the the whole discussion around what could be coming is abolished by leaks right like that there's no point because you know what's coming right um and honestly this is leaks being a problem is like a very recent thing everybody loved doe connor right it, the yeah the doe connor he was another french guy in the community as well like people liked that guy back then from what i can remember um i don't think he really got into any weird controversy at all back then i can't off the top of my head but he was a he was a pretty big leaker back then people liked or were, were excited for the leaks um so it's weird that like now that you know we can't have a community discussion and also leaks are stupid and they suck and they ruin everything but also you know the community is so against talking about the game uh, i agree with you on that one halberd that's so yeah weird. i i i don't get it i i really What's don't up, get it. Like, they they want to have discussion and then when discussion is had they're upset about the discussion and then they say they don't want the discussion and then we get the thing that prevents the discussion and they're like well what the f being serious for a second if dokkan continues to drop hints uh for the dokkan fest exclusives like they have been doing for golden week leaks ruin the fun of trying to figure out i just threw that god damn it uh i agree with that yeah sure i mean i think i i i am on the side of like hints are a lot more fun than leaks right it's definitely a lot more fun to theorize with the community than it is to just get a leak and and have the discussion be ended right but i mean that's not the problem people like that aren't the problem it's the people who complain about discussion around the game or like what units could be coming into the game and then also them hating on leaks right i think that's the biggest issue here it's like those people can never be happy which i mean we know a lot of them i think there's a lot of people like that yeah for example minato's flash dude minato's flash is a, is, a, is one of the biggest anti-leakers of all time um hates them absolutely despises leaks um i think i even remember nanogenics being a little like upset about the the leaks for golden week too uh, in the comment section people just hate them people just really hate leaks at, at this point in the game's lifespan but we can't anything really leaks are advantageous to us to content creators specifically or just well, no to, to anybody like okay. uh, you know what actually it's the most beneficial to free-to-play players because if you know something in advance no matter how in advance it is it gives you more time to decide if you're going to spend or save and if you're going to spend how much you're going to that's fair too i mean like a lot of Literally a lot of global's defense the, yeah, a lot of global's defense was like you know foresight foresight yeah exactly foresight was a lot of global's and, defense and leaks give us foresight the thing that everyone brags about global having which is nice like it's always been nice to know what's coming way in advance so that we can just save for it or not save for it something else being a source of foresight just giving us the ability to save or like be excited about it and know we're gonna spend or whatever like how are you how are you upset about that what what, what is the issue my thing is like i I think nowadays I, I can agree with Tichy Gains, right? The reason why people liked them in the past is because you didn't have the hints, right? Like that that definitely makes a lot more sense. We can't keep having and this is and this is this is gonna spiral us down to uh, I mean we're gonna talk about Golden Week specifically too and like how happy we are with that. But this is also gonna lead us down the path of like miners in the community, man. Having these <laughs> I mean, these miners in the community, man, they're all hypocrites sometimes. And they actually actively make discussion around the game unfun. Uh, and it's it's literally not their fault. They can't control it, man. Their their brains haven't fully developed. They're not they're not uh, they're not a based adult yet, so they can't really they can't really make good arguments. And they sound like hypocrites every time they try. Sorry, guys. Sorry, no offense to any miners in here. The miners who follow me are based. All miners. No, the miners the miners watching this right now are pretty based and real. All right, but the miners on Twitter, dude, yeah. around the Dokkan community are. are Lose, kind of lame sometimes. Yeah, f all miners except the miners that support me. True, 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 true. Base, base, base. That's how we should be. But yeah, I, leaks are aren't that big a deal. I mean, unless it, it's a lot more fun to theorize, but sometimes you know, like a monthly Dokkan fest, I feel like people would be a lot happier if leaks just existed. Like, who cares if you if you leak like a monthly Dokkan fest randomly, right? Like that 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 gives people yeah people gives 
us, honestly, even JP players at that point, Foresight too, right? Like that's a really good, I think that'd be a really good tool. But um, like for fun celebrations like this, I think it can take out of the, take you out of the experience. Yeah, but like, I, I don't know. I've been playing Dokkan for seven years now. None of my fun has ever been in the like, the before of a celebration. Like the, the fun is the celebration. It's seeing the unit and summoning and getting all the animations and shit. And it's like, dude, if if you know what it is before they tell us what it is, that means you can get even more hype. Like, beyond to somebody that loves Super Saiyan 3, knowing that it's going to be Super Saiyan 3 Goku before they officially even gave us the hint that it's going to be him, that has given him more hype, more time to be hype, more excitement to see the animations when they do drop. Yeah. Bro was talking about picking the game back up again because of the leak. Like, leaks are exclusively a good thing. People saying they're not are just, like, again, finding something to bitch about. I don't get it. it well, I, I mean, I think that leaks are fine. You know, I don't have really any disdain for them. Like, it, you know, I saw the Super Saiyan 3 thing for my series, and I was like, oh, it's Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Right? I wasn't, like, furious at that it was leaked. But I can't say, you know, if that teaser came out, you, you cannot deny that it would have been a lot more fun discussing with the community, like, what it could be, right? Although, then again, we run into the same problem of, like, there are these children, these kids, and not all of them are kids. Some of them are, are adults, sadly, all right? Some of them aren't based uh, adults, right? Some, some of them act like kids who, you know, will argue with you and complain at your pick or, like, you know, just really hate on you for picking anything. Like, the, the Deborah situation, man. How many times did you talk about Deborah and get, like, roasted on Twitter or, like, you know, being like, dude, Deborah doesn't deserve this. He's a really, he's a really shitty character, in fact, and he's done almost nothing. Like, how many abus do you think you got yeah. in, the, in your comment sections because of, <laughs> because of that? But I mean, um, he's one of the main examples, right? Like, he was like, this guy is, this fight sucked actually, and it was only carried by anime. I, I don't fucking know where he was, where he was going. With yeah, that one, and but, then Goresh dropped a f ratio on his head. Yeah, we're we're talking about leakers. Uh, you're not on Twitter, so you don't know that Golden Week got leaked completely. So we know what Golden Week is. Oh no, I saw all that on on youtube okay cool what the super saiyan free stuff yeah 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 we're, we're talking about like That's how cool. how people like to hate on other people for complaining about you know talking about what they think the dokkan fest exclusives could be right and but also they hate leaks and that would leaks literally just abolish all arguments right they they literally show you what's coming um, yeah i used to i don't know i i do kind of agree with that but at the same time uh, I think it's just healthy for the community. I think that making people wait ages and ages to find out what the next celebration is going to be uh, can kind of suck. And obviously you can have some discussion about it anyway, but it doesn't really matter what the discussion is if the end goal is just going to be the same. So knowing what it uh, is earlier means you can have like more discussion about what the units could help, what their kits could be like, what the ETA is to fight. So I kind of enjoy that. The so what the solutions to bully yeah to bully children sure man yeah we can do that I guess bully all the kids in the community that'd be a good way to to get rid of them to get rid of them uh anyway leakers I think they're a good thing I think leaks can I, I well I think leaks could be a little bit more beneficial when it comes to monthly characters rather than like you know they're going Dokkan is gonna give us drop us hints for it's they're gonna drop us hints for stuff when it comes to these big celebrations anyway right like they're not gonna leave us out of the cold. Uh, but like when it comes to monthly Dokkan Fest, they don't really, they don't really even bother. So I think leaks could be fine for monthly Dokkan Fest. It helps not only like global players, but JP players as well. You know, oh. do I really want to spend stones on this character or not? You know, and then <clears throat> when it comes to monthly Dokkan Fest, <clears throat> don't leak anything and let the community have their fun with it. Right. Or the big celebrations. Oh, I think that's, I think that's a healthy just, way to go. Why is there so much whinging about it, bro? Who cares? It literally doesn't. Of, it doesn't change the outcome. It doesn't change the outcome whatsoever. It doesn't. But I mean, I like, it, it doesn't. But like, you gotta, you do have to admit that there is some layer of fun to discuss. Yeah, the yeah. Community when it, when these hints drop, right? <laughs> there's there's layers of fun to it, but I mean, I don't know. I think that. that it's kind of not as bad as people are saying. I would I'd much rather have the leaks than the discussion about the fucking... The teaser with the arrow going for the circle, bro. I think we would have figured it out anyway, if we'd been honest. But it's like, yeah, but at the same time, I'd rather just talk about the units and the possible UGAs more than who it could be. Sure, uh, but I mean, could... like, those, those same people will... Like, you'll discuss that. And those same people will complain that, you know, you're discussing potential EZAs, etc., etc. I mean, that's the oh, whole. Cool. I don't care about them. Okay, man. Sorry. 
mean, that, that discussion is predicated on actual knowledge because we have a league. It's a lot better than people yeah. talking about potential EZAs that are just completely out of their ass because they're just guessing. Sure. Yeah. I, sure. But I mean, like, guessing, there's a. I think talking about the game is fun. You know what I mean? Like, talking about what could happen in the game is, is a fun thing to do. Like, that Deborah discussion. Like, I had fun talking about Deborah. Like, the thought of a Deborah coming into the game is a fun concept to me, right? And I'm sure it's, yeah, I'm I mean, sure it's fun to you, too. Talking about what could happen <clears throat> is very fun, but valuing, again, the, I mean, this this is present in a lot of areas in Dokkan. It's not even just here, but, like, the concept of talking about what could be instead of what is, it's fun, but at a certain point, you know, when we know the what is, but we didn't at the time though. Talking about the what could be because it's like. I mean that's the point though. We didn't know right until the leaks happened. Um and like and then the day after we got the leaks, we had the we got we got the hint. You know what I mean? Like. Well, we already had a hint because we knew a boost saga event was sticking around while sure. the other ones were going. Away. Yeah, and that's and that's but why like, that's where that's where fun conversations like okay, this could be Deborah versus Gohan and stuff stemmed from, right? Like. Yeah. See, I had fun talking about Deborah, and you had fun with it. Did you see anybody? else having fun with it hell yeah man vector loved trolling the time no, they were with, all uh, with the trunks and the trunks and go 10 stuff he loved that leaks don't really deaden the excitement for me leaks can still lead to fun discussions regarding kits new abilities etc sure i mean sure but i mean i don't think when most people think about like oh my god who's coming for the celebration i don't think they're really too like obviously you know they expect the kits to be good you know what i mean but they're not like most people aren't really arguing what the kits are going to be. Uh, some people do, for sure, but like that's not the majority of what the community does. It's it's the characters. It's that's where most people get their hype from. You know, it was the characters. Like the reason I think Bulma was so exciting is because a lot of people really wanted a Bulma unit, right? Um, and it really didn't have anything to do with our kit. People people didn't know what our kit looked like. They were just hyped for the character. 